The Northern Territory coroner has made it clear that while he believes there have been failings in the child protection system, they didn't cause the suicide of a 17-year-old in care. The inquest into the death of Indigenous teenager Maddie Dowman has today concluded in Darwin. Muddy Darnman, who suicided in 2014, is remembered as a supporter and role model. Honestly, I live past my 18th birthday because I'm living for her. Her friends are convinced the Territory Child Protection System failed to support Muddy. Honestly, I can say that she didn't have enough mental support whatsoever. Being in care, you are not a person, you are literally a case file. Muddy had been in care since she was 13. She killed herself in a Darwin care home at the age of 17. The inquest into her death heard she was anxious and depressed about leaving care and made three suicide attempts. The government's out-of-home care service head, Simone Jackson, admitted there was a failure to help Muddy plan for leaving care and communication failures, including staff not writing handover reports. There is a minimum expectation of fulsome notes, she said. One of Maddie's house carers said, after the teenager refused to keep visiting her psychologist, Maddie had asked to see someone else, but that didn't happen. The head of the Top End Mental Health Service said, Maddie could have benefited from going into the Territory's new adolescent mental health unit, but her condition wouldn't have been severe enough to get her in. The coroner noted an internal mental health system review found Muddy had fallen through the cracks. Greg Kavanagh said some assistance failed her in terms of the quality of care, but nothing I've heard suggests that shoved her to take her life. The coroner said the Child Protection Department doesn't appear to be in a crisis. The Darnman's family lawyer Steve Carpell said he wasn't arguing that Maddie's death could have been prevented, but she would have been given a better chance of living if she'd received adequate counselling for drug and alcohol problems, depression and alleged sexual abuse. Jane Barden, ABC News.